I feel like I want to give up, you know. But this is my family business. I can't. When a system designed to protect your investments causes your restaurant to lose money. The bill came out $10,000 and they want me to pay for it. That's how much the city of Santa Clarita is charging Julie Ungamrum and her son Mike for false alarm calls made by a system they say is faulty. These documents show a history of responses made to Crazy Hot Chicken in Canyon Country. And now the city wants the owners to pay up. We hardly have any customers. It's really bad right now. I try so hard to, to make it happen, but you know, we're still underwater. It's all part of a 25 year long effort by the city of Santa Clarita to reduce the number of times law enforcement responds to false burglar alarms. These documents state the city wants to recoup the cost of the responses. My mom's been stressing out. She's been losing sleep and she's just been up like trying to like figure out how to get this done. When the duo bought the restaurant, the alarm company, ADT, told them the already installed security system was still good to use. Turns out this wasn't the case. In the past year, the sheriff's department responded to 16 false calls triggered by their faulty alarm. We're seeing technology from maybe the early 2000s in play here, and they said it was working, but was completely faulty, causing all these problems. Problems that Ngamrum say ADT is not willing to fix. They're billing us for their faulty equipment, and they expect us to fix their faulty equipment when we have zero knowledge of it. But the Ungam rooms haven't lost all hope. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Mike from Crazy Hot Chicken. They've turned to social media to ask the community for help. They'll bill you the $10,000 and just be like, well, I'm sorry you got robbed, but we're ADT. This is our form of security. My son, you know, he's a younger generation. He know how to put on social media. That's why he put it out and a lot of people like, you know, saw that and they feel sorry for us. The mother and son want ADT to fix the system and for the city to reevaluate their program. We reached out to ADT but did not get a response. She came here, had the American dream, and now this billion dollar company is just trying to crush it. Now the owners say they haven't found a path forward yet, but that doesn't mean they plan to give up anytime soon. Reporting in Santa Clarita, I'm Lauren Hanna.